Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. Today we're doing something I have never done on streams or in video. And it's um, something I'm kind of surprised I haven't. Because back in the day when I had the consoles and stuff, most of my games were racing games. I love racing games. And even though I am a Minecraft guy, the um, other than like the original Doom, the first person shooter... I tend to play a lot of racing games, so I figured why not do a series? And, you know, part of this is to, uh, for Sheep Machine, which is a great friend of mine, he uh, loves racing games, and I've always kind of, like, dangled the fact that I do racing games in front of his nose, and I've never done one, so this should, uh, this should fix that for him. And so, I have played this game for about... Uh, two races, just so I can get the feel of what the cars feel like. And actually, I, I actually have this game because Sheet Machine gave me a heads up that it was free on, on a bundle or a humble or something like that on Steam. So, that's why I have the game. So, you can thank Sheet Machine. This is the Sheet Machine thing. So, hi Sheet Machine. How you doing, Sheet Machine? Go follow him on Twitter, at Sheet Machine. <laughs> but anyways, let's uh, do a championship season. I see multiple race, multi, multiplayer race, um, I guess I can be hooked up to a, uh, you know, internet and do races, let's see, who do we want to be, um, McLaren is, Lotus is are kind of cool, Saba, I don't know if that's how you say it, Mercedes, oh god, that's so cheesy, but I love the AMG engines, that's like, I'm being sponsored by Red Bull, and I'm not sponsored by Red Bull, I don't know, Williams Racing, I'm not a big F1 fan, so I don't really know most of these, um, racers, even if these are, like, real racers or not, because I, uh, I don't have enough time to watch TV, so I don't really know what's going on now. Back in the day, yeah. Guess what? We're gonna be... <laughs> no, we're gonna be Mercedes. Why not? The problem with Mercedes, they tend to be a little overpowered for their handling ability, but let's try it. Um, Louis Nisco... Louis Nico. Which one's Nico? Oh, Nico, is that guy? Really? Okay, um, Nico, just because Velvet Underground and Nico. <laughs> here comes my man. Doo 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 doo. Oh, wait, that's Here Comes the Sun. Well, anyways, Velvet Underground, Nico. Good, good old stuff. Absolute beginners. That's what I'm gonna do because I don't really know what's up. Okay, um, what does this mean? A short weekend? Each race weekend includes a 15 minute practice, one shot qualifying, and race at 25% distance. 50%? Okay, let's do short because um, I don't want five hour long videos here. <laughs> practice qualifying type, one shot qualifying, race distance. Okay, okay. Oh, hey Gordy. Hi Gordy. Let's uh, do some practicing and figure it out. I'm not going to do any of the racing settings or assists just yet um, because I don't know enough about the handling of these cars to make them handle any better. So, uh, my, my cat wants to come in here and join us. So you might hear some meowing because he loves racing too. Loading complete. Okay, let's go. Braking distance, wet versus dry. Braking distance are increased significantly when driving in the wet. Okay, good enough. Yes, we know. If it is, if it is complete... Oh. I go down to start session. That would make sense. Okay. That shows you how much I actually have played of this game. Don't even know how to start a freaking race. So, I guess we're going to do 15 minutes of practicing. Australian Grand Prix. The pre-race talking is over. Now it's time for the drivers to show their work. The teams will be visiting tracks across five continents as they battle it out for both the drivers and the constructors' championships. 
What race on the calendar do you think the teams will have a special eye on this year? Well, I think the teams will be looking forward to the Mexican Grand Prix, which is being held back at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez in Mexico City. It was last run way back in 1992. Mexico. One of the greatest partnerships in F1 history. I still want to hit enter right now to get past this, but at the same time, I kind of want to see what these things are. It won't be easy, but yes, I think so. It's been a tough few years for McLaren with the Ooh, nice teeth. Mercedes withdrawing as a shareholder and major investor in the team. They've always had trouble with uh, computer graphics and the insides of the mouth. Always looked really fake. Not that I knew like any thing to make it not look fake. Jeff here. Radio check seems good. Oh, Before we get started, gee. I just want to tell you how much I'm looking forward to working with you. Your success is my success, so let's give it our all. If you need anything, just let me know. Ah, uh, he's talking me up, guy. Uh, let's go to the track. Let's go. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. F1. Let's, let's drive out. This should be interesting. Yeah, get all that stuff off of here. I don't know if this is the one that, um, Vintage Beef and then Cone Master, um, Cone Dodger, I should say. Oh, that's kind of loud. But uh hey. -huh. I'm just going to uh, figure out what is on here, how to race this track a little bit. It's kind of hard to talk and race at the same time, but um, especially when you don't know the track. But it has these nice little cheater lines. Oh my gosh, I don't, just don't know where. where to really floor in this race and that's why I'm doing the practice laps because I actually want to do well with these races and actually seem like I know what I'm doing when it comes to this and I don't know these tracks so uh, I have to learn them some of these tracks I must know because I've played enough racing games but this particular one I don't really know it Sorry, dude. That probably would have done some damage to my car. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> Don't want to be racing on the grass. Oh, sorry, dude. Will you get out of my way? Why am I so much faster than you? Go. I'm just gonna push my way through. Right now. Oh, no overtaking. Okay, green flag. Hazard stuff. I don't know if uh, the tires are going to have to be changed in the race. I don't know any of this. I don't know how to do a pit stop, if there are pit stops in this game. So, um, this should be interesting. I should know. I should do the, um, what do you call it? I should research a game before I play it, but I think this is more fun. It's just kind of like I threw the game in, and let's try it, give it a go. So it seems like uh, it's a fairly easy track. I'm getting around it decently. Usually when I say things like that, I f mess things up. There we go. Uh oh, okay. I thought I was in trouble there. That turn wasn't nearly as big as I was expecting. I can hear my tires sliding a little bit, but I don't know if the tires are getting worse yet. Oh, that's a little cutting of corners. Yeah, sorry. I, just, I, I will say that the, the two races that I did do... Um, 
when I did do the races, I kept on getting all these issues because I don't know, um, most of the racing games I've played is more like let's bang our way through the lot, and this isn't like one of those games because you bang somebody, you get, uh, penalized, and so, um, got a lot of penalties. Oops, come on, stay on the road, you dummy. And I'm just doing this with the arrow keys on the keyboard. I do not have a wheel, I do not have, uh, you know, pedals or anything. I'm just doing this old school style the way I did this in the mid 90s. I don't see too many people out here. Have I passed everybody? I don't know. I like those corners because you can almost do that at full speed. This one's a difficult one. Let's see, I'm starting to get to know that. Wow, oh, whoops, cutting borders. <laughs> Making corners a little longer than they should be. Cutting some grass. Alright, so. What's DRS stand for? Dry, I don't know. I don't know if that means I'm supposed to go in. Five kilos of fuel in the tank, just five kilos of fuel remain. So five kilos, so what's that, ten and a half? So are you saying I should take a uh, pit stop? Is that what's going on? I don't even know where pit road is. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open for pit road. That should be interesting. I'm gonna crash trying to find pit road, I know that for a fact. Oh, wait, was that pit road? Well, hmm. uh, I think pit road is far, far away. <laughs> yeah, let's hope I can get back in time without running out of gas. I don't know what five kilos is expected to get me. Mm -hmm. That was not a cutting corner, good. Road, where are you? Mm -hmm. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Okay, you need to come in before you run out of fuel. Pit within two laps. I'm gonna cut right now because I've never pitted before. Do I do? Okay. Taking a real-time drink there. You're hearing me slurp and stuff. I don't know why the sound's doing that. That's my computer is only using one seven percent of whatever. Yeah, I don't like how the sound is all messed up there. Objective third setup. Let's let's take a look at the setup now. Let's check this out real quick. Yeah, come on, give me that stuff. Compound P. I don't know what the select compound P. All right. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this. Alright, get out of here. Let's go racing, go back to the track. Drive out. F1. Checks complete. We're ready. I guess, um, we'll do a couple more laps, and then we will do the qualifying. Still don't know the track. Making noises. I don't need you to make noises. There we go. The phone's always making noises in my videos. Let's, let's 
so so far, I will, I will say I do like the handling of this car. Um, it's a little bit different because I don't usually race with the F1 cars, and these are a lot more responsive and uh, you know speeds much faster. But uh, they handle really nice. But they are unforgiving. Especially if we don't know the lines. Oh, sorry, dude. Then maybe I wasn't sorry. But I'm off. Why don't you, like, give me a full tank of gas? I just came out of the pit and you're telling me to get more gas. Why? Check with that. Confusing me? Are you not filling up the tank? <laughs> Do I have to hire a better pit crew? Is that something that, hey? Is that something that you can actually do? This isn't even the view I like. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. Do I like this better? No, actually I don't. This one's the best, I think. Because then I can tell uh, exactly where the front end of the car is heading. The other way, I was... <clears throat> I don't know if the camera slowly uh, pitches and stuff when you do on turns or whatever, but it didn't seem right. I couldn't tell exactly where I was on the track, so this way is better. I think I feel like I'm more in control. It's funny, when I, uh, when I work, I drive a vehicle at work, and there's a fan in there to keep me cool, and it hums at a certain pitch, and I get so bored sometimes at work that I try and drive the same speed so the engine matches the pitch of the fan. Yes, that's, that's KMA boredom right there, 101. Like when I used to be a kid, I used to, like, you know, get out of my... When we, like, would go into Boston, I would count the windows and all the buildings and stuff. It would be like my goal. we drive by and I'd try and get all the windows counted before we drive by. What were you saying? Something about downforce? I'm not changing the settings, guy. I don't know what DRS is. I can tell that the tires are a little worn, I think. I don't know, I still haven't mastered the way these things feel. So, I'm still guessing on the feels, because believe it or not, in racing games you do have to go by feel. Just like real life. Oh my gosh, what, what was that, dude? <laughs> Driving right into the wall? We're going to have another tire. Yeah, that was a tire problem. The rallies, jeez. Fix your tires. Um, I seem to, um... There's nothing on this track that's going to surprise me now. <laughs> so, I think I'm pretty good for qualifying and the race itself. It just seems like, um, I don't know if my brakes get light or if it's just my tires are a little worse now. Just turning after I've been out for a bit is a little harder than it is when you first come back out after a pit stop. Thank you.
just gonna get in one with the track. Just 30 seconds left in the session. Well, what does that mean? If I'm not in the pits by the end of this session, I'm in trouble? I don't think so. But yeah, turning's a little bit harder. That wanted to go straight there. At least I'm not like fishtailing this thing. Two, one. All right. Do I still get to race back? Uh oh. A little wide. Don't mind me. I don't know if I'm racing back to the uh, pit area or not. Well, not racing, but you know what I mean. There we go. Pit area. <laughs> yeah, you see, you can tell I'm doing this on the keyboard because I just do the quick little things. No, uh, none of the proper way of doing it. I don't like how that sound cuts like that. I don't know what I, uh, how I can fix that. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't like that sound doing like that. Um. Race director, what's that? Nico, am I in number one? Human. Difficulty, human. Save, restart, retire from session, quit to main menu. Uh, set up session, go to track. Drive out. So is this more practice or what is this? Just my qualifying? Just told me practice was complete. All right. Nico Rosberg has proven in today's practice session that he's the one to watch for qualifying tomorrow as he sets the fastest time of today. That would be me, Nico Rosenberg. Rosberg. Rosberg? Rosberg. 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 I don't know. Let's advance. What does advance do? Oh. Achievement unlocked. Me, myself, and I. Alright. So, do we qualify Welcome now? Melbourne, where qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix should be getting underway shortly. We'll soon learn the true performance of these cars out Then once track. we figure out where I'm going to start... We're going to call the video, then the next video will be the race itself. I don't know how long the race will be, but we'll see. You know, um, do I really need all this information? Yes, the animation's cool, the shiny metal on the car is kind of cool. Alright. The softest of the two available slick compounds, option tires give the best overall, but will wear quickly. Alright, let's just go to the track. I'm not going to change anything. I don't know enough about this to... That's not... Okay, I guess this is where I want to be. Mm -hmm. 
Is this the actual qualifying right now? Or am I just like doing a warm up lap? Things that make you go hmm. Okay, so I can't even hit that guy if I tried. I think my uh, best thing is turns, usually. Seems like I'm a little slow on the acceleration part, but turns I can usually grab people, and that's how I like. I'd rather have a car that can turn, ooh, cutter, corner cutting, I can turn more than speed. Oh, corner cutting again? Alright, now you are following me. There we go. Oh, just one lap. All right. Yeah, point. Yeah, high five. Low five. Touch the shoulder. Mercedes Benz. Ooh, yes. Look happy at camera. For Mercedes today, they've locked the front row of the grid for tomorrow's race. Well, it's a great result for the team and one that we were expecting from them. Tomorrow, they'll be expecting both cars on the podium if it all goes to plan. Well. That will be it for today's episode. Uh, next one, we will be racing. Goodbye.